Big Jim Country Boy here and Little Country Girl with that nice t-shirt. Look at that. And uh, today we're making an old family recipe called Old Rotten Potatoes. So say, stay tuned to see how you cook old rotten potatoes. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. So let's get with it. We're going to peel up a bunch of potatoes here first. So if these are all starting to grow, i got to use them up. i got an eye on you. Little country girl, go out there to the other refrigerator and get me a, a cup of milk out of the freezer. Nope, wrong one. One that's white. That's broth. little hack here for you. I get tired of dumping sour milk down the drain. So uh, one of those things that doesn't store very well once you open up the gallon plastic jug in the store. So what we did back during the uh, issue where there was a food, for food, you know, shortage, snortage, uh, they had that bovid one nine and um, I got to be careful what I say but uh, we went to the store didn't have any for a while and then we throw it away and I got smart and I poured it in these foam cups with lids coffee cups with lids that we keep around and uh, we use it for cooking mainly like um, instant mashed potatoes or au gratin potatoes like we're making today and um, I just defrost it in the microwave. You thaw it out slow in the refrigerator, it separates a little bit, but you can stir it up. She drinks it, and there's no problem. So, yeah, two I thumbs up it. for that hack. I love it. Okay, we'll put that in the microwave for two minutes to start. Now I'm going to start peeling some taters here. Couple days, I'll be on my own during the day. Little country girls going back to public school. It's a little screwed up yet. It's not full time every day. It's four days a week, and then online learning on Wednesday. And they're only going to have half days. And she can't eat lunch in school. They're going to send her lunch home with her every day. We went and did some uh, school shopping this morning. Yep, we see your new folders for school. Now go put them away. Let Dad do this. Go do 
do something else now, okay? How's everybody's garden and prepping going? These guys getting all your preps in order? You got your gardens doing good? Canning your stuff? I'd appreciate you leave me a message down in the comments. Let me know how you're doing. I'm going to try to do some more cooking videos. Um, I want to do some more camping cooking videos. I got some ideas, but if there's anything you'd like to see camping wise to be cooked or prepared, uh, let me know. Leave me a message in the comments and we'll see what we can do for you. How's that milk looking? Still frozen. Give it another two minutes in the mic. Hey, here comes my helper. I got it, you can Thank you. I got to build a couple chicken pens here. I got like. 40 or 50 baby chicks growing and getting bigger downstairs. I got to uh, get them out of the uh, plastic totes with the light and get them outside. So that'll be videos coming up. Did everybody see the video of the baby chicks? The ones that ain't right? Uh oh almost lost it. Slippery fingers. I'll do this one more and cut them up, see if we got enough. They shrink when you cook them, and it's always a big hit. And leftovers go over big in a day or so, we'll eat them again. Um, so I don't mind making a lot. This is a five quart Pyrex casserole dish uh, from Walmart. Um, if you're interested in buying one of these, they're great for the oven, for the refrigerator. You have this clear lid that comes with it. Um, I'll try to leave a link down below in the comments.
Okay. We're going to lose that. We'll give these a quick rinse. I got a question. Does anybody know what vegetable can see the best? Potatoes can see the best because they have a lot of eyes. Do you know what potato can see the best, country girl? Or what veg what vegetable can see the best? Broccoli? Nope, not broccoli. Brussels sprouts? Nope. Potatoes, because they got a lot of eyes. You got something playing out there. If you're watching it, go watch it. Here I am, I'm not paying attention. I'm cutting my potatoes all wrong. I want slices, I gotta try to fix them here. I always take the first slice off and then turn it so you got a flat spot on the cutting board to hold it. So it doesn't try to roll around. Little Jim Country Boy had to get like 10 stitches one time because he cut two of his fingers pretty nice. He was cutting a yellow squash like that and it rolled on him. And he didn't do it the way his daddy showed him. If you had too much zucchini or eggplant from your garden, you could probably make an au gratin like this with them too. I would think it would be okay. Or even add it with your potatoes. Maybe I'll do a video on that one day. I know I want to do a vegetable lasagna when I get some more stuff in. I dehydrated a bunch of eggplant and packed it in mylar vacuum bags with oxygen and moisture absorbers for another date but um i get a bunch of eggplant and zucchini again i want to make a vegetable lasagna How many use people do this in the kitchen still? Cut like this against the thumb. Some of my knives you can't do this with, they're so sharp they'll cut your thumb, you'll never feel it. They get dull after a while though. I think this method's quicker and safer.
turned out to be a nice day here for the middle of the day anyway. It was raining this morning here in New Jersey. I guess it's supposed to rain again this afternoon. Too much rain lately, but the garden likes it. I got a lot of chores coming up I gotta do. Auto repair part, auto repair I gotta do. I did brakes on the one car. I gotta check the Ford and do brakes on that probably too. Gotta work on the pickup truck, do some more work on that. I got a dishwasher to install here. I'm probably gonna film the dishwasher install just to see if it helps anybody out. I like to break them up in their pieces after I slice them so they're loose. Check on that milk. It's about like a slushy. Needs a little more time. We'll give it in one more minute at a time now and see what happens. Alright, you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. I have a little bit, like a busted slice of American leftover. I'm going to use like uh, three slices of this mozzarella cut up. Cutting board's dirty and wet from the potatoes, and I'm not using all this Swiss, so I'm going to use a disposable paper plate. I'm going to cut off a hunk of this Swiss cheese here. Probably at least a half a pound. Dice this up. Milk's getting there. Another minute. for the chef.
I'm going to use three slices of pepper jack cheese. One whole stick of butter sliced up. It's just cold from the refrigerator, it makes it easier to slice. Sixteen ounces of milk. <clears throat> Some Parmesan and Romano grated cheese. You don't like it, you don't have to put it in. Like I said, put in whatever kind of cheese you like. Have some dried chopped chives. Gives a little color and a little bit of flavor. You see, I use these in my uh, fish batter, my fried fish batter. The batter's so good you could cook it the way it is. Tastes like hush puppies. In my fishing videos where I catch and cook the fish, we used it. This is some parsley flakes. Now we just need a good sturdy spoon to give it a big stir. Now if you don't get it mixed all well the first stir, don't worry about this. So we're going to let it soak in some heat in the oven for about 30 minutes and then we're going to stir it again. And if it gets dry on you, don't worry about it. Add a little water, a little more milk or cream, whatever you want to add. Cream cheese is really good in this too. So we're going to put the oven on, 350. We're going to put the lid on tight. Move this top rack way up so I've got room to get that in the oven before it gets hot this time. In case you're wondering, this is my bag of potatoes.
I buy them 50 pounds at a time when I get out the Lancaster. They're cheap that way. $8 for a 50 pound bag. I might, uh, they're starting to get eyes. I might dehydrate some. If I do, maybe I'll do a video on that. How to dehydrate and preserve potatoes to last for 40 years, 30 years. So this goes in the oven. We'll check on that in 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. Time to check our old rotten potatoes and stir them up. Okay, so back in the oven. Cook for longer. I'll probably check them again in another 30 minutes or so. Probably take close to two hours to cook through. Okay, here we go. It's been about an hour and a half cooking time total. <clears throat> nice and cheesy. Looks yummy, smells really good. There you have it. I'm going to serve this with some marinated chicken breast. I'm going to grill and some Italian cut green beans.